it's like, for instance, with higher education, um, if the government funds that completely and I don't have to pay a dime to get a higher education right out of college and right the, my first paycheck, I can go get a new car or a new TV, stuff that like is going to like stimulate the uh, economy, right? I changed my Alright, what's up everybody? I'm back with some other random guy I've met on uh, Sargon's Discord, but I'm just gonna uh, pass it to him and uh, allow him to introduce himself, so go for it. Hey, I'm Bobbit. I'm 20. I got into Sargon's Discord after listening to him for YouTube when I was in college and then when I was working a night shift at a job. I had all kinds of time to listen to people. Right. I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably one of the rarer people on Sargon's Discord as one of the few ANCAPs. I mean, all right. I, I mean, I think that's a pretty good place to start. So, what is an ANCAP? Um, just kind of like describe it's it. It's an anarcho cap cap capitalist, right? So, like, what is like, what does that mean to you, or what does that mean, whatnot? Just kind of like you know, give some context, I guess. Well, off the cuff, an ANCAP is an anarchist, so person who believes that the government is immoral. All right. And a capitalist, so I'm, I would be put in the left, right, up, down scale thing. Oh, in the bottom right. Okay. So um, social freedom and economic freedom. So like super libertarian kind of, right? Where it's like you believe like yeah, basically. The, less government is the best, right? Right. T take a minarchist that realizes that the minimum level of government is zero. Um. All right. So you would agree with like no government regulation, like pretty much. Um, yes. Uh, you don't see how that could but, be but, like, oh, sorry, go for it. Um. No government regulation doesn't necessarily mean no regulation. It's just socially and economically imposed. Well, how would we Not socially... Well, okay, hold on. How would we socially uh, impose regulation? Well, let's see. It's really hard to explain all the things in a short period of time. I mean, you, you can just give, like, an example or whatnot, like, you know, just broadly. I'm not asking for, like, super in-depth details or whatnot. It's up to you, Doug. Yeah, what, what's a... What's a good example? Let's take healthcare. Sure. All right. Let's take healthcare. Do you see the provider of the cheapest and the most technologically advanced medical care in the world? But after World War II, the doctors wanted to make more money, so they went to the government to petition for prescription rights. So your pharmacist could no longer prescribe drugs at the pharmacy for you. They got that Im imposed, and now going to the doctor is a lot more expensive. Plus... During World War II, it was illegal to give you a raise. So what businesses decided to do was pay for your medical benefits, Wait, which means you didn't know that. Okay. No, I didn't. Hold on. All right. Uh, which, just continue. Yeah, Sorry. go ahead. No, all right, I'll continue. So you have your medical insurance. If you quit your job, you lose it. And then you have to yeah. go get new insurance. Um, yeah, unless you're buying well, If your, your medical insurance, insurance – yeah. if your medical insurance – was the same way as car insurance. Well, you just quit your job and you went and got another job and you didn't lose your insurance if you just bought it yourself. Yeah, but what if you can't afford medical insurance in the first place? If the company can afford to provide you medical insurance, then you are paying for it. You're just not paying for it directly. I mean, sure, but I mean, I don't, I, like, I don't know. I don't, I think that libertarians and, like, people who are super into capitalism, like Ben Shapiro, I, I, I know, like, I asked you, like, uh, are, like, you're kind of like Ben Shapiro. Well, that's, beliefs, that's, what but... I, that's what I mean with, um, with explaining ANCAP is because you have to talk about every facet because everything is, you know, right, yeah, contributing to it. Right, so, yeah, government plays a huge role in our life, so you so, have to so kind of, like, right. point by point. With you're right. Thing, yeah. You know, all things being equal, some people can't afford health insurance. Yeah. But before this stuff was put in, a lot of doctors, say, on a pick a day of the week, would have a free clinic day. And they would see poor people, and they would take no money from them. Well, I think that it's like, for instance, with me, I think that, like, like I'm a capitalist. I'm not no fucking commie or whatever. But I think that... Right. Uh, like some social policies or expanding some social policies, um, like allowing the government to kind of like pay for health insurance. And by that, I mean like everyone well, pay for the, health the insurance. The government doesn't pay for health insurance. Well, I'm saying like I like I, like I would want them to. Like if they were in America, for instance, that would give me the ability to not have to worry about finding like let's say businesses wouldn't have to provide it. So like let's say smaller businesses or like even big corporations would be able to save money on that. Or like if I didn't have a job, I wouldn't have to worry about like if I get sick, like should I go to the well, hospital or not.
Like, I, I, I think that, like, that having people not have to spend money on, like, stuff like health insurance or even, like, higher education is going to put more money in people's pockets. Like, for instance, with like, higher education, um, if the government funds that completely and I don't have to pay a dime to get a higher education right out of college and right the, my first paycheck, I can go get a new car or a new TV, stuff that, like, is going to, like, stimulate the uh, economy, right? Well, with higher education, the price of higher ed is going up tremendously compared to everything else. That is government-backed student loans. Yeah, but I, I think that government should just like I mean, because like correct me if I'm wrong, but public universities already receive uh, government funding, right? They're government-run uh, colleges. It's just that they're not funded to the point where they can survive on their own. They do have to charge tuitions. But if we were just to give them more funding, I think that would probably help uh, our economy a lot more. Um, you know, if we just had them completely paid out of pocket, like only private universities, because then like I could get a higher education, One, then get that like higher paying job and then turn around and then spend money on like to help the economy. Do you think that everyone should go to college? Uh, do, oh, I'm sorry. Did you say, do you think that everyone should go to college? Right? Yeah. Um, yeah what's your perspective on no, or even I, the vast majority? Um. No, I don't. And I do think that could be a problem. I, I think like, for instance, in Germany, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I think that they do have a thing where it's like only so many people can like go into so many industries so that you don't have like a fuck ton of lawyers or a fuck ton of like, I, I doctors. Don't know Germany. I mean, like, I, I think that's how it works in Germany. I Like I said, I could be wrong. Uh, I think that would be like a somewhat decent way to kind of like, you know, if like the if like the higher grades you have, like the like you have more choice. And then if you're just like, well, I, I just want to get remember a... hearing stuff about that whenever Pardon? I was taking German. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, I took German in high school. I'm not taking a language. In yeah. College, but yeah, I took German in college and I not in high school. And that's like what uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, which yeah. I don't like. And like, like you take a test for middle in middle school or something like that. That will help determine on your future. Yeah, and I think it should be more like – because right now I don't think – like we can both agree, or at least I hope, like um, college like is not really based on merit, right? Would you would you argue that? Like would you think that college is purely based on merit? Oh, God, no. If uh, it was purely based on merit, you wouldn't have affirmative action. Well, I, well I, okay. Well, I wasn't talking necessarily about affirmative action. I was talking about more like, you know, uh, legacies and even affirmative action. Like, I don't have a, as much of a problem with affirmative action as some people. I think – um, we should. I've got a huge problem with affirmative action. Back... Right. I mean, well, I personally, I think that we should um, start going less into um, like based on race and more into based on socioeconomic class. So it's like rather than. Uh... Oh. Pardon. Well, I would. I, that's the biggest thing. Is I really hate it when it's attributed to race. Like if if I, there were two people in the room and you could only know one thing about them, and that's their race. And where they graduated from. So you have two Harvard grads. One's an Asian, one's a black guy. Who do you pick t to hire if that's the only thing that you could know? Well, you pick the Asian dude because no. only the absolute brightest Asians actually get into Harvard. Um, I, because they I don't, are discriminated against. Yeah, but I don't think that like – Because they're overrepresented mm. in the intelligence deal. So only the sure. brightest Asians get into Harvard, which is why they're being – Right, but like – I, when I'm hiring someone, that's not like the only criteria I'm looking at. I'm also looking at like oh, how well they. I, I right, told so you if you can only know one thing. Yeah, I don't think I would probably flip a coin. I don't think I could choose based on those two things, right? I, I don't think that's enough information for me to make like a good decision on it. So like, yeah, like I like when I hear Ben Shapiro, it's like, well, like I'm gonna hire a white guy over a black guy if that's all I know because black people are more uh, likely to commit crimes. But it's like, what if that black guy is not a criminal, and what if that black guy is actually like super smart and smarter than the other? Like, I don't think that's enough information. That's not something that you can. We're we're talking about. I'm not talking about guarantees. I'm talking about which one are you gonna take the chance with? Like like I said, if those are the only things i know i don't like i i don't think i would be comfortable saying like oh yeah i would just do the uh, hire the asian guy based on like these things like i would probably just say well fuck it just flip a coin at this point like because i don't i don't want to like to me like race isn't that big of a deal in that aspect but no i mean like well, this, is, this is what i mean this is what i mean because affirmative action exists no, 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 no. i know like for, i know I, under, I understand what you're trying Especially to say well i understand what you're trying to say yeah like but like like i said i think that there's so many other factors that like i just don't know and in this scenario i'm not trying to like yeah. dodge your hypothetical like i i fucking hate when people I, do that i get it but but let me just uh, flesh it out a little bit more so all right go for it i come across clear sure the grades that harvard accepts for asians 
has a higher minimum than it does for the blacks or the whites or right. the Latinos, which means that if it was a coin flip, you would be right more often if you picked the Asian. Um, if, if you flip the coin heads or tails and you would have a you would probably have like say a 60 percent chance of getting the right guy if it landed on the asian versus a 40 percent chance of landing on the black guy just because of affirmative action if it was a set standard of you have to be this to get admitted and the black guy got in then then it would be 50 50 well well okay so like First of all, do you understand at least why, like, affir- like, do you, do you understand the argument for affirmative action? I, I like, I understand you don't agree with it, but do you understand like why there's an argument for it? Yeah, I, I get why they they put okay. it in. All right. Um, and then second of all, so like the thing about affirmative action, it shows like, so let's say like, for instance, me, like, if I like, I like, I'm going to community college because I'm I didn't fucking try in high school and whatnot, but like since I came from a middle class family, like me getting straight A's and then like like let's say I get a four point and I came from like a pretty like uh supportive family. Like they like gave me I didn't have to work a part time job to like help out my family and whatnot. And let's say there was like a poor black kid who was like dealing with a bunch of issues at the home. Maybe he came from a single mother. Maybe he had all these factors to set him back and he ends up with a three point six. I firmly believe that that guy tr- like worked so much harder than I would have. So he probably deserves um to get into college more than I would. Or to get into a really elite university because he, even though that like he had so many things setting him back and so many things like trying to prevent him to uh, from getting into college and doing something great with his life, he still fought ever fought tooth and nail. And I and I fucking respect the fuck out of anyone who can do that because I don't even know if I would be able to do that. Like if I would if I came from a single mother household, right. if I like didn't have the support that I've had. Like I'm going to community college, and so like if I didn't if I wasn't in like the situation that I was in right now, I I probably would have flunked out of high school. Right, but I empathize with that. But but here's here's the unintended consequence of this, which is what I was referring to before. You know, because that's not what they intended affirmative action to do. They didn't want the blacks to have a negative connotation. You know, like oh, he went to he he just must be an affirmative action case. That's a bad thing about affirmative action. Um, you know, like I said, I I personally think uh, affirmative action should. But but this is what I mean. Right, you have on. the incredibly bright black that was. That I was actually referring to in the previous situation, you, where you had the average Asian, but you got fucking Ben Carson or something as the black. He could be assumed an affirmative action guy, but he came from single mother household, read at a really young age, worked fucking hard his entire life. But if you don't, know, because there's a lot of questions you can't ask in the interview process. Um, it's like like illegal. what? Like what? You can't ask if you're married. You can't ask if you have kids. You can't ask um, kinds of things. Well, I don't think those are really super relevant questions. I don't think we should be admitting people based on if they have kids or if they're married or not. I think if they're w- willing to put in the effort, um, or if they have kids and they're not married, for instance, like if let's say you're a single mother and you're trying to get into a college, I think if you have the grades, I would probably prioritize you over someone else because well, you're that's, showing that's, more that's effort. A, that's a school versus job i said in the hiring process oh in the hiring process okay yeah then the hiring process i don't think those two things are i don't i wouldn't consider those two things really relevant well we're talking about affirmative action for the hiring process oh um affirmative action for the hiring process well, I... to, to get into schools and then how the the person who's going to hire their graduates from those schools um what, 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 what do you mean by that like how they're going to hire the graduates from the schools like I'm, I'm, you know, you have, oh, sorry, go for it. You have a big list of people. Oh, sorry. and by the way, race is one of those things you can't ask. Uh, well, I mean, like, typically, like, race doesn't really – isn't really a factor other than, like, you're obviously black and you're obviously, like, white or whatever. Like, race is pretty clear, right? Like, So let's say you get 100 something. applicants. Sure. You get 100 applicants for white, some are Asian, some are black, some are Mexicans or Latinos or what. Sure. And there's a lot of questions that you can't ask, and you just look at where they graduated, um, where they have worked previously. That's actually the most important thing. Right, yeah. How long they stayed at that job. Yeah, they're, they're There's married, a lot of things right? that, about yeah. that person that you just don't know. Like You just don't know about those things. Like what? So if affirmative action exists and you get – and you go, okay, I want to hire some people from Harvard. So you kick out that didn't graduate from Harvard Yale or something. All right. 
And a lot of businesses actually do this. They reject some black people because of affirmative action. That's, that's a problem. I don't think I like that to go that, away no. to be excluded. And I don't want their achievement from Harvard to be because of people who been because of affirmative action, like say Ben Carson for whatever school. So hold on, uh, switching gears a little bit. I'm not, I don't want to just. That's my dog show. That's my dog. That's my dog show.